So we're starting at the front door. I am trying to film in daylight so you guys can see things true to color. Um, so you're not going to be able to see the lights as well, but I may try to add some nighttime footage. But this is the wreath that I have on my front door. I think it was about $10 from Walmart and I just put in some fairy lights. And then from the center I hung these copper bells that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby last year, but they do have them this year and I think that Walmart did as well. So they're a little bit longer than I would like. I'm going to try to figure out how to make them a little bit shorter, but for now that is what they look like. And then moving into the rest of the entryway, I got this new bench for my birthday. I'm so obsessed with this. This is from Target. Um, and both sides of this, so this side and this side, open up for storage. And this is holding like six pairs of shoes right now. And we're probably going to put hats and gloves in there. So I, I'm obsessed with this, like I said. And I just have this little uh, tree from Kohl's sitting on there. Just wanted something simple and easy to move if I need to get into that space. And then above, I have this piece of art that I got from Kirkland's. I don't usually buy seasonal wall art, but here in Northwest Ohio... Winter is not really a season, it's a way of life. So this will be up all winter long, probably until like, I don't know, maybe the end of March. But it's such a pretty scene, it's these trees. I think it's actually a photo that's been like put on to plexiglass or something and framed in wood. And then above it, I have a piece of a garland. This is my favorite garland. I got that at Michael's and I have it all over the house. You're gonna see it in a bunch of other places. But I think it's six feet long. I just cut it to fit this and I used it in another area. So I'm going to try my best not to show myself in the mirror here. This is my entryway table and I would love to get a new one because as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff at the bottom that I would like to hide. Like we have the dog's leashes, Jose's drone, I think like a tool set, my plant. Um, but on top, I have this brass bowl that I thrifted with some cinnamon pine cones and fairy lights and then over here I have a really pretty lantern that I got from Walmart. I think it was only $14 with a flameless candle and a little bit more of that garland and then I get a lot of questions about this mirror. This is just from Home Goods, but up above I also put that same garland and the bells I got from Michaels I used some of them as ornaments and then the ones that I didn't use, I restrung a little bit shorter so that it would fit this mirror and I love just kind of the old time look of that. And that's the entryway you guys. So heading this way, um, this is my closet, coat closet, it's a little bit dark, hopefully I can brighten that for you. This is not supposed to be here, this is from last night, I went to a Christmas trolley like bar hop thing, so that's what that is. I wore those lights, but this wreath I love. This is one of my favorite wreaths ever, and this is also from Walmart. It's extremely realistic looking. And I just hung two bells in the inside. Those are from Kirkland's, and then the ribbon I'm using is from Joann's, and it's just like a really pretty snowflake, dark green kind of print and that goes really well with my decor. 
So down this hallway here are the bedrooms, the bathrooms. I only put like flannel Christmas sheets on the bed, so not much to show you. I'll link the ones that I use though down below if you're interested, they're just from Walmart. Now this is my main living area, my living room, I guess, and it's my favorite place to decorate and there's so much to show you guys. Okay, so if the color changed, it's because I had to bring in a ring light. It's just so gloomy out that I'm not getting any good light, but this is the only day that I can film during the daytime, so I really have to make it work. But I really want you guys to see the true colors, and so anyways, this is what the TV console looks like. I get a lot of questions about this council. It is from Walmart. And I just mixed the Michaels garland that I showed you in my entryway with a hearth and hand garland. I think it looks really pretty and natural, but of course has a little bit of sparkle. And then I added in some dried oranges because my parents used to decorate with fruit for the holidays and kind of like a colonial Williamsburg sort of a style. So I wanted to incorporate a little bit of that. And then down below on the shelves, I just have a brass bowl and um, a leather bin from Hearth and Hand. Just to keep it simple, I didn't want to do anything too much because I just love the um, garland on top. And then my big mama tree. <laughs> Uh, this is my nine foot flocked tree from Big Lots. I did a whole video on this tree. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. I didn't really want a theme on this tree. I just wanted it to feel classic and elegant and have special ornaments on it and not just be a themed out tree, although I still think it's beautiful and it kind of has that look. There's a lot of special there's a lot of special memories on this tree and things that mean a lot to me. So I absolutely love it. I love it more than my tree last year, which I know is a lot of people's favorite. So many of you guys have sent me pictures of how you used my tree last year for inspiration. I think that's so cool. So just to take you in close, you can see I used more picks than ornaments. I just love the kind of wispy natural look that it gives the tree. And it's just kind of like a hodgepodge of different ornaments, but I do like to have at least two or three of a kind on a tree or just one if it's like a super specialty ornament. And I think that helps give kind of a uniform look, but still allows you to have a lot of character to your tree. I get questions all the time about the dark green ornaments on my tree, and those are from Hobby Lobby last year, but they do have them again this year. And last year, that was my main accent color, but I wanted pops of red this year, so I put these cardinals on my tree, and they do have a special meaning. They kind of represent my dad, and I lost him in August, so it's really nice to have these cardinals to remind me of him on the tree. And I, I love the fact that it gives like a big pop of color, too. They really stand out, and I think they're beautiful. I'm just going to show you guys a couple special ornaments. So my fiance and I have had a tradition since we started dating that he gets me an ornament for my birthday each year. He usually gets me more than one, honestly. Um, and my birthday is in November, so it works out perfectly. And this year I got this Santa. I couldn't believe it, but I didn't have any Santa ornaments and he is just smack dab in the middle of the tree. I love him. I get questions sometimes about this ornament here. I did get that from Pottery Barn last year, but you could easily make that with like the Dollar Tree clear plastic ornaments and just some old sheet music, or you could even print off faux sheet music. You'll notice a lot of brass in my decor this year, and I wanted to add it on the tree, so I got these brass bells. Actually, uh, Jose, my fiance, got me these last year as some of the ornaments that he bought me for my birthday. And to kind of tie them in, I got these brass stars from Kohl's this year. I think they're really fun. And then, like I said, I have special ornaments to a subscriber turned friend sent me these last year. Um, I love them. She sent me quite a few. They're all over the tree. This is an ornament we got in Virginia Beach when we got engaged this summer. And this little snowman here we also got. He is holding a ring, if you can see. We also have Chip on a few spots on the tree. I need to find something that resembles Dory, but it's a little bit harder because she's a, a mutt and she has like polka dots and stuff all over her. So... Hopefully I can find something that looks like her before the end of the season. And then this was sent to me from another subscriber turned friend, Irma. I love this. So like I said, there's just a lot of special ornaments on this tree and I absolutely adore the way it turned out. 
So moving over from the tree, we have the couch and the seating area. I get questions all the time about the sectional. It is from Value City Furniture. I do not recommend it. If you have pets, it is like sinking and sagging and it snags all the time, but it was expensive. <laughs> and so we are going to ride this thing out until it's, you know, no longer usable. But as far as like the pillows and stuff on the couch, the dogs were hopping all over this. So they're not fluffed exactly the way I would like them. But these ones I got from Home Goods this year. The plaid ones are actually um, pillow covers from Amazon, and then the red one is a Ray Dunn Noel pillow. Over here in the center of the couch, this one is old from Kirkland's um, last Christmas season, but the green pom-pom blanket is a $10 find from Target. It comes in a million colors, and it's so cute, so comfy, super soft. It would make an excellent gift, so I'm definitely going to link that for you guys. And then I just have matching pillows over here. Moving on to my coffee table, I think this is simple. I don't know. I have this hard time striking a balance between too simple and too overdone. I love decor. I love decorating. I love seeing all the pretty stuff, but then I also like a minimalist look. So I'm constantly like not sure if I'm doing too much or too little, but I just have this tray from Deco Crated with some books, a candle from Target, my brass nutcracker, which I'm obsessed with, and then a little pot with some sprigs of greenery and berries in there. My brass nutcracker is just sitting on some coasters from the Target dollar spot last year, and I'm just obsessed with this guy. I think he's so cool. He's just like very hip and modern, but also super traditional, and it feels a little bit like old fashioned at the same time, so I love him. And then moving over to my fireplace area, I promised myself that I would have this clock hung up by the time I did my Christmas tour, and what do you know, I did not. But anyways, if you've been with me for some time, then you know that I absolutely love my fireplace, but I also struggle with it because it's not symmetrical. It actually ends on the wall over there. It's like this weird kind of mid-century modern um, corner fireplace. And I think it has a lot of character and I love the mid-century modern style. So um, I, I love this, but I wish it was just more symmetrical. But I try to balance it out by doing something up higher here and then down lower here. So we'll start with the stockings. These are really pretty. These are just from Amazon and they come in a set of four for I think $16.00. And I have four for, you know, my fiance and I and Chip and Dory, but I didn't have a D for Dory, but I do have a C for Chip. As you can see, I have a K and a J hanging. I didn't want to leave her out. So I just put the K and the J and I put um, Chip's C ornament on the tree. And then I filled the other two with just some picks and orange and um, some berries. These are from the Target Dollar Spot. My uh, clock is from Kirkland's many years ago. That was my one of my first pieces of decor ever. And then I have my vintage Crocs with some birch logs and this tree from Michael's that I put some fairy lights on. And of course, my blanket ladder. I get lots of questions about that. That is just from house.com. It is made of reclaimed wood, which I think is so cool. And it adds a little bit of height to the wall here because this is a massive wall. I don't know if you guys see that in my videos, but it's huge. And um, it would just be crazy to like try to fill in that space. So one day we're gonna hang the clock or get something different to go in the center here. But I do like you know, the clean look. So that is what the fireplace looks like. But my favorite part of my Christmas decor this year is definitely this new tree that we added. Last year, I had my little six foot flocked $35 Walmart tree here and it was cute. But this one, I just adore. Um, it is from King of Christmas. It's a noble fur. So it's meant to look kind of sparse. And I think when I kind of like crouch down, you can see it a little bit better that it's very sparse and realistic looking. So I did a whole video on this tree. I will link it down below if you would like to check that out. Um, and I let you know where everything is from. The only thing I added to the tree that you guys didn't see in that video 
I put these silver finial ornaments just because my big tree has a lot of silver and I wanted these trees to at least be somewhat cohesive since they are so different. I will give you a pan around so you can see how like they go together. I think some of you thought these were in different rooms, but it's actually just one big room that they are in. So turning you around, trying not to make you dizzy. And there is the big tree. So they're obviously very different, but I wanted the color schemes to at least be somewhat cohesive so that they don't look completely random being in the same room. And then I also get comments a lot about how I don't have window treatments here. I have a privacy fence around my whole yard. I also have a canopy out here. And my house does not face anybody else's windows. Our next door neighbors don't use their backyard. They're, they're an elderly couple. Um, I still will put window treatments up, but that's why I haven't like put a rush on window treatments. A lot of you guys are like, I'm worried for you. Don't be. Um, we're totally safe and totally fine. Okay, so now moving over, this is my kitchen table. Um, I keep it super simple. The set is from Value City Furniture as well. Um, but I think that Big Lots has the same one now because this was discontinued at Value City. So if Big Lots has it, I'll link it for you. But I keep it super simple. We use this table all the time. And one of my biggest pet peeves is having to like take my decor apart and then put it back together just so that I can use my home as, as intended. So just super simple. And this banner is from Home Goods, but it was a gift from a friend last year. We are in my kitchen and I did a whole decorate with me video in this space. Um, I keep this extremely simple for the same reason. I hate to not be able to use my kitchen to its fullest potential because there's like stuff sitting everywhere. So I won't spend too much time in this space. I'll just quickly go over it and link the kitchen decorate with me down below in case you didn't check that out. But here is what I did for my coffee station. I just wanted it super simple. Like I said, I didn't want to do any Ray Dunn this year. I'm just kind of over displaying things and not actually using them. I love to use the mugs. It's so fun to pick out a new seasonal mug for each day of the week. So they're all in my cabinet and I use them daily. I just, I didn't want them on display, just collecting dust. So instead I did that with some Dollar Tree mugs. These are really cute with the snowflake print. So that is the little coffee station. Okay, so moving over from the coffee station, I do have just a little bit of Ray done. I have my Santa Paws canister, a candle, and then just this little greenery thing from Target. I think that was hearth in hand. And then at my sink, of course, some Mrs. Myers and the Iowa Pine. I didn't show you guys this in my kitchen decorate with me, but that is the Dollar Tree towel that I hauled in a video that I actually really, really like. And I just set that there to kind of dry my hands, I guess, when I wash my hands at the sink. Can't go wrong with a simple poinsettia or poinsettia. That is a real one that I got from Target. And bringing you guys over this way, I just have a, another dish towel from Joann's and just not much going on over here. Just a candle, a wreath above the stove, my little chip, um, wooden decor piece, some uh, seasonal spatulas, and then you can see the tree from here, which I love when I'm cooking. I think that's so fun. One thing I forgot to show you guys is the garland above my sink, which I love. It is the Michaels garland, um, a bell garland from Michaels as well, and then I put some um, dried oranges up there too to give that kind of old-fashioned feel. And I just think it makes the sink area really festive without doing a whole lot. So I just, I love that. Um, and my dried oranges, I didn't dry them myself. I, I know that you can, but I just got them from a potpourri set from Kirkland's. Take you guys back this way. And I had this eat, drink, and be cozy sign from the fall from Joann's. I just left it up and just put some of that garland from Michael's above it. Okay, so now I am taking you into my dining room. I love how this room turned out. Um, if you haven't heard me say before or you're new to my videos, this room is actually a converted garage. So our garage is 
um, on the other side of this, but this was part of the garage. So because of that, this room doesn't really feel like a dining room. And there's a ton of things that we would love to do in this space. Like originally we were gonna put hardwood in here like we did in the living room, but it turns out that the floor is slanted. Garage floors are slanted so that water doesn't pool in them. So that was a no-go unless we wanna level the floor. And then um, this beam here is actually solid wood. It doesn't have electrical um, going through it or the capability to have electrical. So we always wanted a chandelier, which we have one, but it's not a real chandelier. It's just like an outdoor one that's battery operated. So anyways, with that said, I still feel like this room came out really nice. Um, and it's real life, you guys. I have the dog's crates in here. Um, I would normally put them away, but I didn't feel like it for this video. Um, my house is not always perfect. It's very rarely perfect, and I wasn't going to try to make it perfect for today's video. So here is just kind of a pan around of the room, and yes, our driveway is right out there, which is not ideal, but you know, hey, this is our first home. It's a starter home, and um, I, I love it anyways. So um, here is the cabinet that I have. This is where we uh, store our dog's food. So there's like big bags of food down there. And then I am so bad at styling shelves, you guys. That's why you do not see shelves in my home. And the ones that I do have, like the shelves in my TV console, I barely put anything in there because I just don't know how to do it. But um, I actually have things that I had to store in here to make room in my kitchen um, cabinets. So instead of trying to get them perfectly styled and like driving myself crazy, I just decorated around what had to be in here so that I could get it out of the way. So like some things that I actually am storing are my extra chargers, these extra plates, extra bowls, and then I've been collecting brass candlesticks. You see them all over the place um, for my wedding and I didn't have anywhere to put them. So that's kind of how this came together. It's definitely not what I would consider to be a prime example of how to style shelves. I'm just decorating around, you know, what's needed to be there. So um, I will say that this big bell here, I showed that in a video. A lot of you guys loved it. It's from Kirkland's. My little cardinals are from Amazon. The wooden rocking horse was from Kroger last year. And I have my Ray Dunn birdhouse and my candlesticks need to be cleaned. But I thought it was kind of cool that some of them still had wax in them. Um, I got them from thrift stores and estate sales and I thought it just kind of made it look a little bit more old timey. And so I left them like that for my Christmas decor, but I will polish them up for my wedding, of course. So moving over from here, this window that looks from my kitchen into my dining room, it does have shutters on the other side. I'm not sure if I've ever shown you guys that before, but I got these berry wreaths from Hobby Lobby and I just put them on each shutter. And I love that you can see the garland that I hung up on the other side um, and that it's just like, you can see it from both the dining room and the kitchen. So. It acts as decor for both rooms. So now for my table. This table is a hand-me-down from my parents. It was their first table together when they got married. So this is like, I think close to 40 years old, if not older than that. And then the chairs, these were actually sent to me for review, but I really wanted to get a good opportunity to use them last holiday season before reviewing them. And then the company disappeared. So I'm not gonna link these for you guys, but you can find similar chairs at Walmart or really any home decor store. Um, and I'm actually considering putting my spindle chairs that match the table back out because I really love them. I just, I might paint the table and the chairs all black, I don't know. But anyway, so here is what the place setting looks like. I don't have silverware out yet and I don't have um, napkins or anything yet. But these plates are from Walmart. We're going to use these for appetizers for Christmas, um, dessert probably. Um, also as salad plates, I'll just keep rewashing them. <laughs> um, and then this plate with the gold rim is just from Dollar Tree as well as the beautiful chargers, which are going to be the chargers I use at my wedding. And then also from Dollar Tree are these really pretty glass goblets. I think that they look more than a dollar when you pair them with 
you know, like other things that aren't from Dollar Tree. The first time I saw them in Dollar Tree, I was like, yeah, they look kind of cheap. But now that I have them on my table, I think they add like the perfect amount of sparkle and elegance. So yeah, I really like those. My table runner I got last year from JCPenney. I don't know if they have it this year, but um, I did see a red version there. So I'll try to link that if they don't have the white one. And then my centerpiece is just this tray from Hobby Lobby with some brass candlesticks from Target, my uh, favorite Michael's garland, and then I have some silver and red ornaments mixed in to kind of pull in the silver from my buffet table, which I will show you next. So here on my buffet table, I have these silver mercury glass lamps. I don't love these here anymore but they're here for now, so that's why I put the silver um, ornaments on the table. But we got this amazing antique brass mirror from a garage sale. I paid $40 for it, and I planned on using it as a sign for my wedding. I was gonna put a decal on there, but I think it's just perfect in here, so I don't know if I wanna do that anymore, but um, I just love the way it looks in here. So for the center, I have some more of the candlesticks that I have been thrifting. And then this cloche cake stand with a bunch of little bottle brush trees. I thought that looked really cute. And I put um, this little wreath from Target um, just to add a, another pop of green. And then of course we have my tree over here. So then I have my little six foot flocked tree from Walmart right next door. This is the $35 one that you guys have probably seen a bunch of people share on their channels. I think this is my third year with this tree. It's, it's not the greatest. Um, it's cute for a small space or if you're just starting out with your first tree or you don't want to spend a lot of money. I honestly was going to just leave this naked without um, any like ornaments or anything, but I decided to put the cardinals on for the same reason I put them on my big tree. And since I am hosting Christmas dinner, I just thought it would be great for my family to have, you know, the sweet reminder that my dad is still with us. So that's what that looks like. I did put it in a basket. It's literally just being held up by pillows in there. There's no tree stand because it didn't fit. So um, the reason why I have this like scarf that doesn't even match at all is just because it's hiding the ugly pillows that are holding up the tree. So that's pretty much the dining room. The last thing I wanted to show you guys, and it's wobbling right now because I was just messing with it, but this chandelier, this is actually an outdoor chandelier that's just battery operated because again, this beam is a solid piece of wood. So we could not hang a chandelier from here or at least not easily. So that's a piece of advice if you just want like a chandelier in a room for the look of it and not actually to provide you with a bunch of light. You could always get one of these outdoor chandeliers. This one is from Big Lots. Um, but I did hang this garland um, around it as well. I think it's so pretty. So that is another little Christmas touch that I added to the dining room. Silent night, oh. 